I'd like to make a quick video if I may. I'm off my night job today, but I guess I'm going to do my day job um, today. Um, I've heard, not from Paul Joseph Watson, but from a British person who I will no longer support. Vladimir Putin heard that Ukraine, the Ukrainian government was murdering its own citizens who live in the eastern part of Ukraine and still speak Russian. They speak Russian because Ukraine was Soviet Union. After the Soviet Union broke apart, Ukraine declared independence. Kind of like in the south of America, in the south of the United States, we have Spanish-speaking Americans because A, some of them came here as immigrants, hopefully legally, and they speak the old language, Spanish, or B, they've been here since that was Mexico. But the Ukrainian government is murdering these innocent civilians. And Vladimir Putin gave the Ukraine an ultimatum. If you don't stop murdering innocent civilians, I must rescue them. Okay, let's talk about that. You can show me the map of the globe. And I guarantee you that 90% of the countries have had bad things, including this country. Okay, we stole land from the natives. We stole land from Mexico, we enslaved people, we segregated people, we, we even imprisoned Japanese Americans during the war. Okay? England, I saw a map that said everything in red was owned by UK one time or another. 75% of the globe. And they weren't always polite, were they? No, they weren't. Okay. France, Spain, look at South America, look at South Africa, South Africa. Okay. Genocide against one race and genocide against another race. Okay. So the world is not a happy place. But that doesn't justify invasion. Example, Soviet Union, biggest arch villain of the 20th century. Stalin. Worse than Hitler, but it didn't justify Hitler invading Russia, nor did the UK's past sins or current sins justify Hitler bombing them. Okay, now let's assume, just for the sake of arguing, that Vladimir Putin really did go into Ukraine to rescue the Russian speaking people because they're being massacred. Okay, cool. Let him prove it. Let him come to NATO, UN, Amnesty International. Let him bring forth the civilians who were witnesses to the massacres, the murder by the Ukrainian government. Okay, let them testify before the world. Okay, Hitler killed 11 million people in the Holocaust. But there were still survivors to testify against the Nazis at many war tribunals, okay? Let Vladimir Putin put Ukrainian officials on trial. Just like the Allies put the Nazis on trial. With attorneys and juries and testimony and evidence. I challenge him. I do challenge him. Yes. Okay. Now, let's assume, hypothetical speaking, U.S. Marshals are killing Hispanic Americans in the south part of uh, Texas, Brownsville, etc., that speak the old language. And Mexico warns the United States. Okay, cool. Mexico could legally issue a declaration of war in the United States, invade that part of the United States, take back that part of the United States, engage and kill American troops declare that that part of the United States is now Mexico once again and offer refuge to the innocent people the Americans are killing. They would still be required to provide testimony before NATO, Amnesty International, UN, and a few other organizations to prove their case. Okay? Now, if Mexico 
came for the north into the United States, because that'll happen, right? And they started massacring, raping, bombing, pillaging. That is not justified. If Vladimir Putin went into Ukraine justifiably for a rescue mission, why are his troops going into central Ukraine? Why are they engaging in rape, murder, execution, bombing? Okay? They are targeting, targeting hospitals, orphanages, and civilian residents. Journalists. Not UK, not, U, not Ukrainian journalists, UK journalists, American journalists, and a few others. Low battery, sorry. And a few others. I'm a 5%, I'm good. These journalists are going into Ukraine and they are telling the world, we didn't see ISIS do this shit. Okay. So if Vladimir Putin is the good guy, I would very much like him to explain to me why his so-called troops, his so-called soldiers, are killing civilians. And it's not like, well, World War II, you had Hitler put houses of worship, hospitals, and schools next to military bases and munitions factories. And bomb would drop, go stray, hit a civilian settlement. Saddam Hussein did the exact same thing. Bomb would drop on a military base or go stray and hit a civilian. It happens. Okay? But why are Ukrainians suffering bombings in areas where there's no military base within 100 miles? Okay? You have orphanages, hospitals, and residential communities that are being bombed, and there's no legitimate military target within 100 miles or more. Okay? What's the point of that? The women and children that are being found murdered on the ground are not killed by a bomb that fell or they were playing hopscotch next to a fucking munitions factory. Okay? They're being killed at very close range by medium caliber bullets such as the 762 by 39 Okay? So, if you're killing women, children, and other non-combatants, old people, okay, at a very close range, my question is, A, are you a murderer, or do you need a pair of fucking glasses? Okay, also, rape. Women are being raped, apparently, okay? What reason is there for a soldier to rape someone? There is no reason for a soldier to rape anyone, even a female soldier in combat. Okay, if you have a female soldier in combat and you rape her, you are still wrong. If you kill her, okay, rape her, you're wrong. Okay, so for you people that are defending Vladimir Putin, and we can argue all day long about how far should we go. Should we send military aid over there? Should we send bombers over there? Should we send troops on the ground over there? I don't know. Good question. That, that's good question. A lot of people are saying maybe we should stay out of it. Or maybe we should only give aid, non-combat aid, food, clothing, diapers, which I have done already, to the civilians. Okay, cool. We shouldn't commit our troops to the ground. Fine. U.S. didn't want to get involved in World War II or World War I until the last possible minute. I understand that. You want to stay out of it. Cool. But do not give me this bullshit that Vladimir Putin is a hero who is protecting innocent people from being murdered okay do not give me that bullshit because if he's saving innocent lives I want to know why there are so many women and children dead from medium caliber bullet wounds which had to be shot at less than 100 feet if not closer than that Okay, do not give me that bullshit that you have a civilian settlement, an orphanage, a hospital, a, a school, a daycare center that's being bombed, but the nearest military location is 100 miles away or more. Okay, do not piss in my ear and tell me it's raining, okay? Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
and uh -huh. okay i gotta go to bed now i'm gonna upload this probably tomorrow or today afternoon so it's wednesday at one o'clock now we're gonna upload this 25 26 hours from now because i gotta do work and other bullshit okay thank you